hello from Whitburn. This Whitburn versus Wild Welfare. They produced a program. Yeah, it's uh, the Sunday of the ground talk weekend today. I went to, but I couldn't make the Saturday games. Right, that's me in the ground. I've been here before. So I'm not going to do a walkabout. Uh, it was, uh, I'll put a link up to the game. It was uh, a neutral venue for uh, one of the finals. I've got Robin and Lawrence here, uh, media and organiser in the ground top. Eh? So how's it been then? Uh, was it started off on Friday? It's on Friday, yeah, a really good game. Brilliant game actually. Yes, Lovely grind at Armadale. Uh, big crowd. Um, it was. And yeah, it was really good. Uh, good game to Special effort because obviously with the bigger crowds you need more volunteers, you need more Absolutely. people. Absolutely, and so. the welcome that you get every time you come up here is yeah. it's it's so time. friendly, so lovely. Um, you just make this you know, the clubs just make the experience what it is, yeah, don't it? Why everyone looks forward to coming. Yeah, this right. is one of the biggest hops of the years, I would argue, yes, and everyone yeah. looks forward to it, and that's a big part of the reason why. Right, and so is it back doing the coach then? Today after the game, yeah. Today yep. afterwards, start the long journey back on the coach. <laughs> Very right. long journey back on the coach. <laughs> and yeah, back to work tomorrow. Yes. Oh, dang, so no. <laughs> back to reality. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, we're looking forward to the game today. Thanks very much. No, thank you. Oh, nice pleasure. to meet you. Ah, oh, there's Terry's badges. He's always there with a lot of stuff. Yeah, if you're looking for a badge, then <laughs> he's the man. Well, we've seen that inside, but it's nice as well. Yeah, we've got so much stuff um, from the... Ah, look, I've bumped into around the terraces, around terraces, eh? Have you been on the ground top? I have, mate. I've been every game so far, so, yeah. Right, good. Then what about yourself? You've been at them all? Yeah. Have you enjoyed it, then? Yeah. Apart from the uncertainty about if games would be on, eh? Aye. I'd, I'd probably say the soccer game last night should Aye, well, be known, I, but I, I saw then that. again the weather Aye. probably made the game yeah. because it was, well, it was the best game of the day. Aye. Should be a good game. Good stuff. Hopefully we get loads of goals again, Norrie. Aye. We've had plenty over the weekend. I think all the other games we've only had 1-0. One nil, uh, one nil nil, oh, so. that's right, yeah. That's good then. Right. Big try on. Perfect. Yeah. There we go, folks. Tobies and Agus Pie. Fantastic. Our ground up our, you've been to all the games, haven't you? Uh -huh. Well, I, was at, uh, I never went to the Friday game, but yesterday oh, I went to the three Saturday. games in Perth. Uh, Socky, I was there with yourself last year, aye, um, so aye. I didn't bother last no. night, but uh, missed a good game apparently. However, the games yesterday were good, all three of them in Perth were good, good, new, good to see uh, three new grounds and that. Eh? So, that's right, right. and how's your badge collection go? Because you've got that oh, guy that sells the badges, eh? I so spent over £50 on yesterday. Did you? So, <laughs> aye, I think we're, we must now be over about 130 but I'll get a picture put up later on the night. That's the a trouble when you see a badge, eh? Oh, fancy that one. Oh, I, I said to you, I might not get that again. I, eh? bought, I bought some at the first game, and I kept aye. going back at the second and third, and I said, I told you yesterday, <laughs> not to sell me anywhere. So, I. <laughs> Right, pretty much. Anyway, good seeing you. The cover day was against uh, Newton Green Jawina. You wouldn't want me to discuss that too much, but you had to deplete your squad, didn't you? At that point, there was seven under 20s in the squad, and yeah. we don't like to make excuses because no. we ex that's what they're there for. Yeah. They're there to play and they're there to help us win games. So, you know, it was disappointing at Newton Grange, but I feel like in the last couple of weeks, we've brought a few players in. Um, brought Jack Hodge in from East Stirling, we've brought Ewan McGill in. Um, from East Island, Kev Fotheringham came in from yeah. Cameland. So we've strengthened with a lot more experience and a lot more players that were playing at, at higher levels yeah. in terms of the two low and big guys. Nice. Um, and Kev got a lot of experience in the game. Um, so yeah, we're, we're in a better place. Stevie Clark is back available today. Yeah. Uh, Stevie's had a long term knee injury. So yeah, it's great to have him back in the group. Danny Farrell, our goalkeeper, is back training again. Yeah, I'm good. glad to hear that we've had that horrific injury against Dunny Pace here so 
Yeah, to answer the question, we're starting to get boys back at a very good time. Yeah. Um, and it's been a bit of a transition this year. Um, we've, we've had to give players enough chance that got us here to, to, to show us what they can do. And, and we've had to almost build as the season is going on. Yeah. yeah. And today, of course, the ground top, you've got a bigger crowd as well. Does that do you up the players? Is it something that they, they look forward to? It certainly G's up me. Uh, <laughs> you know, I feel we're in a much better place um, with the ground top being on. And I think it's a great thing for, right. for Scottish football, and especially football at the lower leagues. Yeah. There's some really good players in this league, and there's some really good football gets played, and we don't get enough good press. No. Um, so the, the more people we can get coming through the gate, the better. We've got a really strong community spirit yeah. here as well. Yeah. So hopefully we can show the ground top guys what Whitburn's all about. Yeah. Um, but really excited, and I think the players will be happy playing in front of more people. We had 307 at our derby match against Blackburn last week, yeah. you know, which is incredible. Um, and the amount of young people we've got. So, you know, if we can if we can maybe break 400 today, or then we would be delighted. But if it's more than that, uh, as long right. as we, we turn up and perform, we're happy, and already. Good stuff, Dad. Thank you. Looking forward to the game. How are you preparing for it today? I'm really looking forward to it. Obviously, it's a good occasion with the kind of ground top day. Decently turn out as well. Obviously, the pitch is, the pitch is really heavy. It's the same for both teams. So, yeah, that should be a good game. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll we'll speak to you later. There we go! So, so what are you called then? The Whip The Whip and have you got three drums? Aye! Brilliant! First corner.
This allowed is pretty soft to see. I think the guy backed into the goalie a wee bit. Um, and the second goal, I'm not really sure, or I didn't get a good view of it. So, not no, but there's been, there's been goals, but most disallowed. Good seeing you again, Martin. Did you get a good view of the goals because you're at this end? Or uh, the goals well, disallowed, I should say? Aye, we were moving towards this end. Uh, I think they were both fouls and offside. Yeah, so, yeah. Actually. I think one was offside, I think one, I'm not, uh, we're not talking about, he backed into the goal, he, so I'm he not did sure. Foul the goal. Yeah, yeah. So I think that's why. Right. It's a shame because it could have been two or three goals, I mean, it I thought. could have been, but I, I thought to start with, uh, Whitehill were, like. They did. They, they did were good start. to start they with, but so they've, yeah. they've faded quite a lot, or okay. far quite one from in the game. Ah, well, I gave it two half, so I'll say, man. And I gave it usually pretty good, usually be pretty good to predict it as well. Yeah, I'm going to say 2 0. Uh, there you go. Well, folks, you heard to hear first. 
Thank you very much, Martin. Good right. seeing you. Thank you. Okay. How, how did it go yesterday then? It was really good yesterday, considering the conditions. Ah, it was quite wet, wasn't it? And uh, a good crowd and uh, it was well organised, eh? Oh, there's plenty. They opened their new, their new shop and all that there. Aye. So, so it's, it's good, so I'm good. sure the ground toppers had a good day, eh? Ah, well, this is our last. We've been to the eye of them, so... Aye. This is our sixth game. 3-3-2 three, 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 was three, I. Two, aye. It sounded a good game then, eh? It was a brilliant game. Good stuff. Thank you very much. No problem. Did you see the, the goals in the, uh, the offside? I seen the one there where it was given for. It looked to be offside. It was in front of the keeper, I think. Aye. Because you don't usually get a linesman at this level. No, I no, that's so right. I'm thinking that's the only reason it's been given as offside. Aye, aye, I think so. Yeah. Okay, you know, different stories. Was he backing in or offside? I don't know. That's the two. Eh? He gave right, cheers. <laughs> Place, eh? right. That's a belly. I know. Phil, did you see that? <laughs> Get the bar out. Shame we're back on the park. Hope you're going to record. Oh, no, I put a flip of it. Let me see. <laughs> right. Well, I must have started the first half. Uh, so, so, oh. Trust me, just be. Off the post! Oh! That was a bit far away. So he stayed. Oh, chance here! Oh no. I looked, I looked close on the bus. Oh, there's a chance. Oh no, well over the bar. Oh no, it's not out. Well, oh, you can save a rebound, but did they? The, well, I managed to clear that. This is well off. Whitbird player was not there. Oh, there's a shove. Not away though. Oh, there we go. There's a go home. One no. This time it stands. One no. A bit burn. There we go. Wide. Oh. Good ball. Oh. Missed. Oh. Put the. Put that in the post. That was a, certainly a chance for Wild Welfare. Have you seen you, Cameron? Remind me the last time I bumped into you. Uh, Strollers each turn on, I believe. That's right. Aye. Uh, see all the disallowed goals in the first half? I did. I don't know why the first goal was disallowed. It was Aye. offside, but then didn't delay it a touch. Uh, we, we think uh, somebody backed into the goal a wee bit, but uh, so no, I didn't get a great view of it, you know. Uh, so have you done much of the ground hopping this weekend? I was at the firm one on Friday night. Oh, right. Aye. I managed to get to three of the games ah, good. yesterday. 
Enjoy it then, yeah. Oh, aye, especially the Bunkarty. Bunkarty's ground it is brilliant. Aye, aye, aye. And uh, the steep pipes are good, eh? <laughs> right, uh, Greece, speak to you. See you later. Good to speak to you. Oh, no. oh, oh. Oh. Oh, offside as well. Well, put on the attack here. Oh, shot and target there, but no trouble for the goalie. For a break, we are uh, stuck in the mud. Look at the conditions, didn't help. Eh? That was actually a good ball, that. Oh, oh it's away. A big foul. I got big for that. that. That might be the first pick in. I'm just trying to work it. I'm going to lose balls. Last time I saw a but didn't get to see that. Oh! Oh! Oh, there's a chance here. Oh, no. Oh, that was close. I think I looked for someone there, but no. Oh, the goalie's uh, down here. They called the goalie, I think. Called the physio down it long. Oh, it's a way of player, aye. aye. And there's no the first time Cameron has kept me right. He's, you, you obviously got better eyesight than me, Cameron. Oh, there we go. Here's full time. And it's 1 0 to Wimburn. It's going to be three goals, but only one counted. Conditions didn't help today, but I thought you had a, a chance early on to score, and there's another time in the second half there they hit the, the, the uh, post. Um, no, listen, it was, it was one of the ones that was, uh, I gave up probably a few chances, but, uh, but we did we did have a couple of chances yeah. in the first half, a couple of good chances in the first half, yeah. and a couple of good chances in the second half. So it's frustrating, it's frustrating when you don't take kind of good chances or make the wrong decision when you're in a good area. Yeah. But, you know, <laughs> and also there are a couple of goals disallowed, uh, you know, offside or whatever. Uh, but and that sort of gives you the, the oh, uh, you know, we've, we've got away with that. If you know what I mean, it gives you the, the chance to all oh, right, we'll, we'll, we'll crack on, you know. Yeah, another one that was ruled offside. I mean, I think one was a foul, wasn't it? So two hand push. It's a, it's a clear yeah, foul. So, yeah. um, but aye, it's it was a foul. So I was always going to be disallowed for yeah. for me. So yeah. Which play a factor in the game? Eh. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's obviously, it, there's been a lot of rain, so the pitch is obviously a bit of a mud bath. It cut up really quickly, you know, into the games, 10, 15 minutes, the, the pitch was yeah. cut up severely. Um, but listen, that's the same for both sides. It's the same for both sides. There was, right. there was little football played. That being said, there was actually a few good bits of play yeah. know, from both teams during the games. Right. You know, so, nah, yeah, the pitch is obviously, um, <laughs> it was very much kind of not good for, not conducive for, Good football, but it is what it is, you know, there's been a lot of rain, so... Thank right. you. You've been delighted with that win, uh, particularly you had two goals disallowed in the first half. Aye, I mean, we know how Jack would shape up, eh? I said that when we played Whitehill down there, that they'll play with intensity and be aggressive and they'll, they'll try and come here and, and, and get a win. When you're on top and you score goals and then they get disallowed, you start to wonder if it's ever going to go for you. <laughs> That's right. Um, ah, yeah. because they could just need to go. I mean, they, they had quite a good start, and uh, then hit the. I think they hit the post in the second half as well. So you know, they had a few chances, and they they they, they might think they're a wee bit unlucky not to get someone from the game. Yeah, I mean, I think over the piece, I th I feel like we deserve to win the game, and I think Jack would tell you the same. Yeah. Um, but you're right. 
goals change games and, and there was key moments in the game when it was 0-0 that they could have scored or could have nicked a goal on the on the break and they had a few set plays so yeah I mean they had chances it was a good game I think for the yeah. spectators although it was only 1-0 I feel like both teams came here and tried to win so oh, sorry, we're yeah. happy I say, and of course, you had all the ground toppers here today, so they, they, they would be pleased the game went on because the pitch was, was pretty heavy, wasn't it? Heavy going. Well, I mean, I, th I think thank you to the ground toppers for picking us and selecting us. It's only yeah. our third year in the East of Scotland, and we're really happy that, that they've came here today. I'd agree with you. I think that if they're not coming today, then we probably don't. I mean, I was up here with a pitch fork on, on Friday oh, helping yeah. the ground staff, so, but the chairman would have been devastated if it hadn't been on it's a lot of money for the club it's yes. a good publicity for yes. the club and, and hopefully some people will come back um, but we also want momentum you know that's us unbeaten in four now so you know we had a bit of a dip like you said it before at the start yeah. of the game we had yeah. a lot of players out I feel like we're starting to get our group back now and and probably at the right time because it's going to be a great season there's, there's probably five teams that fancy themselves to get promoted yeah um, and we're happy look our pitch is always a, is always a problem honest and we know that as a club and we're working on that you know there's things going on behind the scenes that we'll hopefully yeah. hopefully get some help from from a uh, you know the council and, and get yeah. something done here but we're, we're trying to fundraise to make the pitch better because we want to we want to progress as a club we yeah. want to go up the leagues and we want to make sure that we're playing on the best surface because we want the best players and you want to be in the mix uh, you're talking about the promotional race like you want five teams going for three spaces there's, there's going to be a couple of teams disappointed. You don't want to be one of these teams disappointed, eh? You know, cu coming up, obviously, you know, you want to consolidate, but I think in our, in our heads, we're always, as, a, as big a club as this, the expectation for people in the town is that we're competing. Yeah. And, 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 you know, we're competing, and I'm happy with that. Yeah. You know, to talk about promotion is maybe a bit too early. We've still got a lot of games to play, yes. but I think for us it was about proving on the pitch, which we are doing, and also being in the fight, and we're in the fight. Thanks very much for Thanks, that. Man. Cheers. Well, there you go. That's how muddy <laughs> the pitch was. Um, I was speaking to one of the officials who was telling me that the, the water in Thursday there was it just slowed down, you see, and the water was gathered. It was quite flooded uh, along the, the bottom there. So I did a good job to get the game on today because these ground top weekends uh, brings in a lot of extra supporters uh, as, as, well, as well as the ground toppers. There's a lot of local ground toppers that come along to these games as well. And a wee shout out to all the committee in these uh, clubs who, um, who host the ground topping games because um, they have to rely on extra uh, committee members, extra volunteers, uh, and if we didn't get all the volunteers, they would really struggle, um, you know, helping with the catering, uh, helping at the gates and the selling programmes and that sort of thing and all the rest of it. So well done everybody uh, at these football clubs for working hard. You could see the wee ultras there, I was, I was trying to say to them, get a bit of beating drums. I think I'll learn, uh, and I've told them, watch other videos of the drummers and other uh, ultras groups, and you'll see, uh, you'll see what I mean by that. As to the game, it was, well, there was two goals disallowed, there was, there was a lot, lot, lot of talking points about them, but I think one, one was a fair, I think the other one was offside. But uh, I, I never got the best of views of them, uh, but there wasn't an awful lot of chances. Uh, the conditions certainly had a, a bit to play for it. Uh, so, well, well, well done if it burned for their 1 0 victory. And as always, say, folks, if you like what I do, please uh, subscribe to my channel, please like and uh, support me all, all uh, any way you can. And of course, a big thank you to everybody at Burn there. Uh, very friendly speaking to a lot of the guys. Uh, it was good speaking to the, uh, the, the officials, the management team, uh, everybody. It was great. So, thank you very much to everybody at Burn. And it was great catching up with the Wild Welfare guys again. Uh, a great bunch of guys and until the next time I'll see you behind the goals <laughs>